I'm okay. coming back to my chair. I'm coming. I'm coming back to my chair. I'm coming back to my chair. Oh, I missed it. I ah, uh, I missed my chair. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid ranks. This is Corbin. I'm fine. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you for also on Patreon. Follow us for juicy content. Ring the bell and turn the notification squad. Bang! And today, doling out juicy content everywhere I go. Uh, you can follow us on our own personal YouTube channels. The links always in the description below. Do different stuff over there. Check it out. Today we are reacting to an um, Arjit Singh live uh, song. Um, Arjit Singh, the fantastic cool. singer. Uh, people love him. Apparently, they always cry when he sings. I think that's a common thing with uh, Arjit Singh. Um, this one's called Enos. Just like, that's what happens to me when you sing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one's called Ina Sona. Uh, let's see what else, if there's any notes here. Ina Sona Bolana Medli. MTV India Live. Which, which translated is Don't Cry For Me, Corbin Miles. Because Corbin doesn't cry. That's true. All right, ready? Three, two, yep. one. Love that instrument. Wow, 
never had one lesson. He has a band of so many instruments on that stage. Mm -hmm, he does. There's so many different instruments. Didgeridoo? Or some version of it? It's almost Irish. nice thank you Assad for subbing that um, obviously it makes it a lot yes. more powerful with a love, a love ballad like those to uh, have the lyrics who were you thinking about during that uh, Rick there? Uh, anybody oh I don't know your mom <laughs> definitely not <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was very beautiful the lyrics were beautiful uh is he like let me try to think of a, a comparable in terms of the style like ed sheeran makes very like love songs like that style of uh music it's all about you know a significant other or something like that um is he that style of an artist in india uh obviously very different type of singer um <laughs> but I, I did it really enjoy the fact that he had it seemed to have a hundred instruments on that stage. Yeah. Like a hundred full, full band with a lot of instruments. Like a and yeah, he's a he's a, a love song balladeer that I don't I was trying to think of a comparable something or other that we would know about internationally and there really haven't been. That was Ed Sheeran was somebody who came to mind. We really don't have balladeers that sing love songs like that anymore. Lionel Richie did that. Um, Barry Manilow did that. Oh, God bless you. Uh, but today, I can't think of anybody who's known for being the one that writes 
the love songs. Oh, you there's know, like, there's like Michael Bublé and there's um, people like that. Yeah, uh, Bublé's a good comparison for the big uh, band style. Yeah, uh, but he does like yeah. big. Yeah, he, he's like very old school big bandy um, style. But yeah, there's not a lot. But I can tell why people like him so much. Cause like I'm sure he has a bunch of like breakup songs mm-hmm. and and stuff that people just listen to when they're missing their significant other or they want to they're sad about their significant other or whatever uh he he obviously has the voice um but yeah the lyrics were really beautiful thank you to our beautiful stupid baby subbers who are the best subbers in the world it's often funny now that um anytime like we watch like even a, a pad patalak People were saying that the subs were not up to par to what um, we're used to with our sub, our stupid baby subbers. <laughs> oh, we know. <laughs> we are blessed to have our stupid baby subbers. So our our those uh, studios need to reach out to our stupid baby subbers and hire them to uh, sub their stuff to make it up to par. Just don't pull them away from the stupid family. No, no, don't do that. No, this is top priority. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, that was fantastic. Let us know more. Uh, 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 Arjit Singh uh, songs uh, that we should react to down below.